What's up, Libras? Love my Libras. Okay, I'm actually trying to use my new computer to do this. The last time I tried to take a video on this, which was a day and a half ago, because it's three days old, it totally pooped out on me. Which my 18-year-old laptop has never done. I just keep updating it. So, please say a little prayer with me that we can get through this reading without anything. Okay, so this is my first monthly. So right now I have a nine card spread for you. We have your recent past, your present, your rest of July, and then we also have your uh, overall energy and your central energy. So I've laid these out. You can't see them on the computer. I know the camera's not that great. I have ordered an actual camera that I can put further out from my table. so You can see everything. All right, so during my pre-shuffle, what I got from you guys is that um, you guys are having, like, you're going to have, like, a major month, and I hate to say that to you, but you have so many major arcanas in this reading right now, so what we have for while I shuffle, the clarification, because we need to do some clarification, um, and by the way... I'm Stella K. Thank you for watching my video if you haven't before. Um, this isn't going to resonate with everyone. This is a general reading for the general collective. Um, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And time is fluid, so it doesn't really matter if you watch this in July or if you watch it in August. Like, if it resonates with you, it does. And if I can give you one little bit of relationship advice, because this is a love reading, I'll be super happy about it. You know, that's all I want to do with us. I mean, us YouTubers, it's not like we make money off this. You know, I, I make nothing. I do this for free. Unless you guys book private readings, you know, which I do private readings one-on-one -on -one in my community. I've been doing it for over 20 years. But just now, like, the YouTubers, like, when my son told me people do what I do online, they inspired me. To come out and not be embarrassed about my death. And I just want to thank all of you YouTube tarot readers and horoscope readers and people that do, you know, the all the other readings. Like, thank you for making me feel like I wasn't so different. Like, you made me feel like I fit somewhere. And I feel like I fit here. And I'm so thankful to all. And I didn't say that in my first two videos tonight and my first few sets. And I really should have. Because there is so much work that goes into after this. A video, like you do a video and then you put an hours worth of work into just like everything else that goes into that video. Just because we want to help you guys. You know, the people that watch this. And it's so amazing. So push that subscribe button push the like button, push the notification button if you want to get notification. Like, I actually emailed a couple of the YouTubers that inspired me today. How thankful I was for making them make me feel okay about my gut. Like, and to go, like, I mean, this is kind of worldwide with it, so it's a big deal for me. And I'm just so thankful. And I just want to say a special thanks to uh, Passionate Heart Tarot. She's one of the readers that really resonated with me. And if you get a chance, like, watch her videos. She's so amazing. And she really just has this intuitive way of talking. And I, she helped me through a hard time in my life. And I'm thankful. I'm not going to cry right now. <laughs> I'm one of those girls that does that, but I'm a girly girl, so, but she's amazing. Anyways, okay, so what we have in your recent past is first we have the Ace of Swords, okay, which is clarity and truth. Then we have the Magician. When it comes to the Magician, um, I'm sorry, I just got to watch him. I'm sure my son isn't coming on. Okay, he's, he's not. He's supposed to be sleeping right now. But the magician, I mean, he has all the elements to make everything happen. And then the empress. 
which is related to Venus, which is like the planet of love. So you guys obviously are trying to be very clear with someone and Libras are like that. You guys are air signs. You're cerebral. I mean, you're smart. You guys have all these. I mean, you are the magicians. You're an air sign. You know, sometimes you can just say it's a Gemini or a different air sign. But I just relate this to all air signs. And then you have the Empress, which is like this amazing woman that, you know, can just really, she's intuitive. She's beautiful. She's nurturing. She's empathic. She just has so many different elements to her. She's like the head girl on the tarot deck. I mean, she's ahead of the queens and the kings. Like, she's got it together. So I really don't feel like there is any reason to clarify your past because I feel like the recent past was actually really decent. I feel like you were clear. I feel like you were trying to make things happen. And with that Empress, I feel like you felt like a good energy about yourself. So then we go into the recent. And uh, just so you know, the overall energy is the Two of Cups, which came in reverse. Which means this person that you're thinking about may not be a forever person. And I hate saying that to people, but I will always be honest with you. And what I'm feeling is that it may not be a forever person. And I know Libras like really want those forever people. You guys are so, out of all the air signs, you guys are intuitive and kind. And like, even though air signs are cerebral, Libras can feel their heart with their brain. And that is such a special thing for an air sign. And out of all of the air signs, like you guys are my faves because you really know, you, you really want to make people happy and you want a good love life and you will put everything you have out there to have that good love life. And I so admire that with you guys, especially me being a Capricorn who's so anal because I'm a goat. So I dig my heels in, you know, I'm also the devil. Oh, you know, what am I going to do? That's what they labeled me 3000 years ago. So there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Anyways, in your present, you have the queen of pentacles, which can be a, um, Earth sign, which is a Capricorn, Libra, or Taurus, or Virgo, which are is a wonderful sign and actually fits really good with a Libra because you guys, while you're both very cerebral, you know, Capricorns can be a little more organized and Libras can feel their hearts a little bit more. Whereas Capricorns, even though we're Earth signs and we are in touch with our feelings, we are very organized and everything has to be just the same way. In the middle of your readings, though, we have the Queen of Cups, which means there's probably some competition going on. So when you have the Queen of Cups, she's extremely intuitive. She's empathic. She's loving. She just embodies this nurturing energy that you know, the queen of pentacles can't because she's too worried about her business and her house and things that are going on where the queen of cups is full of love. Cups are love. Pentacles are money. So it looks, but she's in the middle. She is the center of this reading. So I'm going to say that if you have options right now, the Queen of Cups is who's on your mind. After that, we have death. And death doesn't always seem like as horrible as it is. It actually means, it can mean a breakup, but it also can mean a transformation. Like you can be transforming or someone you're with can be transforming into this totally different person. Okay? Then we have the Tower, which may happen in July. You may have a Tower moment. And tower moments are not always bad either. Just because it says the tower, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It means that something big is going to happen that's going to be life-changing. But 
It can be life-changing in a good or a bad way. It doesn't have to be a bad way. And then we have temperance, which could mean you're just dating a Sagittarius. It can also mean that you're just looking for balance in your life, and so is your partner. And what I'm feeling from this is you guys really balance each other out. Then we have the Four of Wands, which did come in reverse. So this may not be a soulmate or a twin, but sometimes that can be a good thing. Because soulmates can be just a passing person you learn from. And a twin can be someone you've seen over many lifetimes. But you continue to see them to learn lessons. So sometimes just having a regular old person is not so bad. So let's start clarifying. You have so many major arcana in this deck. It's unbelievable. But I'm really feeling like this Queen of Cups is like your person. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say. And remember, cups are water signs. So it could be like, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. And then we have, um, it's so much major arcana. You have one air sign, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And you have one wand, which is, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my throat's pretty warm, really bad. Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. And that's all you got there. Um, I feel like this is a really clear reading, though. I feel like, let's go, and I don't feel the need to clarify the Ace of Swords. You have clarity. You had clarity. Okay? Then you went to be the magician, and you found and made happen what you wanted to happen. Then after that, you got your Empress. And remember, we all have feminine and masculine energy. So this isn't, the, even if you're a man watching this, or a female watching this, whatever kind of energy you like, you found in this Empress. But let's go through the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups to see what's up. Like, I mean, I know they were the middle of, you know, the Queen of Cups is, is your center of your deck, or the center of your reading, but I'm sorry, it's 1.30 in the morning right now, I'm tired. And I don't know how to edit yet, so I even I can't even do it. Josh is, that's my son, he's going to teach me how to do it tomorrow. But you guys are getting these, like, I want at least most of the day with him to be fun, even though all the fireworks are canceled and so bummed. The July is my, my most favorite holiday just because I get to have so much fun with my son, you know. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, what we got here? You got the Five of Cups. So when you get the Five of Cups, you, uh, you know, there's a little bit of a regret. Like, maybe you did a little something wrong. After that, we got the Three of Pentacles. So you wanted to work on that regret. And maybe get rid of some of that work. Let's pull one more. Eight of rods upside down. So there's really no communication going back and forth between you two right now. And sometimes that's just not meant to be. Sometimes, you know, the queen of pentacles just doesn't, you know, it's not the shoe that fits. That's it. All right, let's clarify the queen of cups, which is at the center of your reading. We got the King of Pentacles upside down. So, you know, that Queen of Pentacles and that King of Pentacles, that's upside down. You guys weren't a match. You weren't a match. We got the Nine of Pentacles. When you're thinking about the Nine of Pentacles, this is you being single and independent. You know, and I know a lot of Queen of Cups, like they have so much love to give. They want you to be single and, and independent when they find you. And I feel like this month, I don't feel like you're necessarily with someone right now that you're tied to. I feel like you're going to find someone that you're going to be tied to. That's what spirit tells me. You are going to find that person that fills, you're going to fill their cup. 
and you are going to appreciate that you fill that cup because that's how Libras are. When they fill a person's cup, they feel really happy about it. All right, let's pull one more. And then we have the Six of Swords, which is going into calmer raw waters. So you may have had like some turbulent, you know, relationships before with this Queen of Cups. You're going to have a nice, calm relationship. So let's clarify death. I don't feel like it's a breakup because I feel like you're single right now. And you're about to find someone that is going to transform you. And it's going to transform your life. You have strength. This could mean you're dating a Leo. It can mean a lot of things. But it means you're strong. You know, you have found your strength to get into a relationship. And you want to get into this relationship. And you're going to be strong about it. You're not going to be weak. You know. All right. And then we have the Five of Swords. Which means you may have a little bit of conflict in the beginning of this relationship. But seriously, who has a relationship without a little bit of conflict? Have you ever dated someone that you didn't fight with just a little bit about where you were going out to eat? It's the whole conversation in the car. Well, where do you want to eat? Well, I don't care. Where do you want to eat? No, I'm not picking. Where do you, I want to take you to where you want to eat. And I'm like, well, no, I, I want you to pick where you want to eat. You know, I'm not a picky eater, so I always want other people to pick. Could have just been a little something. All right, and then we have the chariot, which means someone's going towards you. And whenever my face itches, I know I'm right on, just so you know. It's weird, but when my face itches, like, I'm on. They're coming towards you. Then you guys are going to have a tower moment, but for some reason, I have a feeling I might pull some good cards. All right, you have the seven of rods, which is fighting no one. There's a guy here with a stick fighting no one but himself. So you may fight yourself over this relationship a little bit and deciding if this is the right person for you. But I'm telling you right now, this Queen of Cups is the right person for you. And then you get the world. And the world is a bad cycle ending or a good cycle. But all the last something's ending that was hard in your life. And you might have went through a little bit of heartbreak before. But this Queen of Cups is going to open your heart to a brand new cycle. Because what you just went through is over. And then we have the Six of Cups. And I love the Six of Cups because it's like, this is like a past person that you probably knew in like your childhood. Or you could just be like going through like some nostalgia right now and thinking of someone. Or maybe they remind you of someone in your past. But it's not a bad card. And you could also be thinking about your children. Like, how are you going to mess your families? How are you going to put you two together? And I think this relationship is going to go super fast once it gets off the ground. Because we have temperance right here. And that means you're going super fast once this gets off the ground. And a lot of people don't pick that up from temperance, but I see it from temperance. And I know that my four of wands here, and this is my twin card, is upside down. But I do not believe twins are together for a lifetime or even soulmates. Those are people that teach us lessons. But you are going to be with someone that is just going to make you happy. You are finding someone that is just going to make you happy. That is what I feel from this. And because I use different decks, you have to remember that other readers are using different decks than I am. And these all have different readings. And then intuitively, we have to take those meanings from that different, those different decks. And we have to interpret them the way that our spirits that talk to us say we need to interpret them. So what I see is kind of your forever relationship coming for you. Like, and I think you're going to meet this person in the month of July. 
and they're going to sweep you off your feet, whether you are a man or a woman. Like, you're going to really care about this person. It may not go super fast, but it's not going to go super slow. You guys are going to lock eyes and probably never let go for the people that this resonates with. This is seriously the best reading I've done all night. And even if it only reaches three of you, and then in a month, you can comment and say, Stella, it happened. I hope you do. And you remember this reading. And I hope you're excited about your life. Because I feel like even for the Libras that may not find that forever person, they're going to find someone that they're going to be happy with for at least some time. Like, things happen in life. But I just feel like you guys are having a lucky month. There's a lot of major arcana, but I don't look at major arcana as bad things. I look at them as life-changing things. Major arcana is, you know, those cards are meant to, like, change who we are as people and make us evolve and become more aware of the universe and more appreciative. And I hope that this does that for you. My name's Stella K. I'm not giving you my last name. I hope that um, you'll visit my website at StellaKTarot.com. Or you can get private readings at both, really. But StellaKTarot.com or StellaKTarot at Yahoo.com. And I hope we can get to know each other well please push the subscribe button and give me a chance. Give me like a month or two and let's see if we resonate. I'm really curious to see how this month ends up for y'all. Like I, I'm really curious about it because I had so much, this is the most intuitive reading I've done online. I'm used to doing this with live people. So I'm just getting used to, you know, trying to do it with the general collective. So I'm, And I feel blessed to be able to do it. I want to help you guys with your love life. But you have a good month to look forward to. Happy 4th of July, and I love you all.